Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Space Engineers. Uh, I have been uh, looking around a little more, trying to find some more of this elusive uranium, and I have not found anything. Uh, it has been suggested uh, that maybe that the area I'm in, just the chances of it spotting or because it's a very rare resource now, it's not like it used to be before I started playing where you could find it on the planets, now it's only in asteroids. And it could be maybe in this area, I'm not generating it. Like, I seem to be getting all the basic stuff. So it was suggested we take a little trip out to the moon. Uh, apparently it's about 150k away, so we could technically coast there. Uh, being from where I'm at here, I'd probably start coasting towards there and then down there just to avoid the atmosphere. So we could do that. Uh, I do want to check out the moon because I have some very, very good plans for that place. Uh, if anybody can tap into my mind and guess what I'm thinking, maybe... Maybe I'll uh, show some recognition once it gets time to do that. But, uh, yeah, feel free to leave some comments of what you think I got planned up there. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm just going around and sealing off the edge of the rock here and making sure I got all the things. I want to make sure that... Let's see if I can get this one in here. I don't know if I'd be able to get it in. But basically, I want to try to make sure that I get all these edges covered because I'm hoping that the rock is actually going to work as a sealable area. Uh, I have been producing stuff. I've got, I don't know, about 10,000 plates going through right now. I've done a nice load of iron, so I've got about 80,000 iron. i got some more silicone. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see about that. Well, actually, I have one there, so that fills it in. But yeah, and uh, I do want to take a few, a few supplies with me to the moon. I know the moon is going to be like our moon, where it's low gravity, no atmosphere. Uh, I do have two oxygen bottles made right now. I'm going to make a third one and leave a, one of the hydrogen bottles here. Because I do actually... Oh, I'm out of plates. I do technically have uh, a hydrogen tank. I did do... Oh, it's not over here. I'll go over here quickly. Oh, that's, that's not my uh, run button. I did do a modification to this. I took the atmospheric thrusters off. I already had intentions of doing that because I'm not putting this thing back in the atmosphere. That's staying up here. And I uh, put a second hydrogen tank on, which... For some reason it's empty oh it probably stockpiled into there but i have been processing ice too i'm pretty sure i got a fair bit here let me see what i got i ended up dumping quite a bit in there yeah so 12 percent huh, weird it's not actually showing off oh, because it's it's under a quarter that's right i was like I said, I was going around trying to find stuff. But anyways, I just want to finish this up and then uh, that thing's ready to go. And uh, I'm going to start coasting to the moon if I run across anything of interest or uh, any life-threatening moments. I will bring you back. Uh, Rhenium, of course, you know I'll be jumping for joy. I ran all the way around here for nothing. Anyway, I shall be right back. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention too, it, w it was suggested about having a sorter set up to the refinery to, with a storage container to move stuff out. I have already gone ahead and done that. I put a, a sorter on the bottom of the refinery just to pull everything but the, the ores out, so it goes into the assembler automatically, and the, the assembler is automatically forcing out to here. I don't plan on doing mass production here. Uh, this is just going to be, if anything, this might be a shipyard when the time comes to make a big ship. Uh, we'll see how it goes. That's There's a reason why I've got all that hydrogen stockpiled there. We'll probably end up needing it for at some point in time, or why I am stockpiling. Uh, but yeah, anyways, uh, I shall see you on the road. All right, well, I've been out of oh, close to 45 minutes now. I stopped a few asteroids along the way, and I have not found anything yet. I have so much gold and magnesium that I'll never run out. I'll never need that much gold, but to be quite honest, there's no point in me having the gold if I don't have the uranium that I need the gold for. In other words, the superconductors. But I'm sure I'll find it somewhere, uh, you know, maybe there's asteroids around the moon, I have no idea, but you know, we're still a little ways yet, so I'll bring you back when, when I'm finally there. I don't really have enough fuel to go investigate a few more asteroids, but I gotta make sure I have enough to land and get home, so I will be back. Okay, I am finally getting there. I don't think I'm there yet. I still think I got out of 15 minutes or so. I've been at this. Jeez, it's been almost an hour since I left the, the station. I've gone through an entire bottle of oxygen. Uh, almost a bottle and a half. 
Uh, I don't have any ice on me. I haven't been seeing ice around. Uh, my plan is, so once I get down to the surface, I'll bring you, bring you back when I'm getting close. Actually, I think we're getting pretty close right now. If I ramble on long enough, I might actually crash. Oh, look at that ice. Perfect. Uh, I do have supplies on me. I have enough to get a assembler running. This is actually the old assembler. I forgot to mention I, I moved that out of the way, cleared it out. Uh, I forgot I have some grids on me, so uh, cobalt shouldn't be an issue. And I got enough, made enough supplies to make four solar panels. And I got everything else, like nickel, silicon, iron. So uh, I even brought the gold just in case we run across rea uh, uranium so we can make a reactor. But I have enough to get at least situated. Uh, it's, I might actually try to get a, a pressurized area going. Get a one tank up. I think I said I've got iron. I can make the two all the tubes I need. But we are getting close, so I will. I'll bring you back and save your ears. You know, I'm actually tempted just to stop here and check these asteroids out. But considering my oxygen situation, uh, I really don't want anything bad happening yet. I gotta make sure I've got myself situated. Um, judging by the looks of it, from what I've read, there's gonna be more than enough ice on here to produce all the hydrogen and oxygen I'll ever need to blow up the entire world. Hee hee hee. Am I joking? We'll find out. But anyway, I'll see you on the surface. Okay, we are getting close. This is actually a lot smaller than I was expecting it to be. And still, so much easier to cover it around. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be a fun project. It's actually gonna work out perfect, just because it's small. I'm not giving any spoilers, but like I said, if anybody can figure out what I'm got planned, that's uh, we'll figure out something fun to do about that. Uh, put a little spotlight on here too, so I can see where I'm going. I'm trying to aim for uh, bigger patches of ice. I might go up there, but I'm gonna go here for now. Uh, I want to have a good good view of Earth. I put the spotlight on here to avoid hitting anything. And I guess it helps if I go the right way. Actually, you know what? Might be better down here. Oh wow, this is this is an interesting experience. It's what I liked about Star Citizen. It's just the whole seamlessness, being able to go from space to the planet to space again. All right, now. Uh, there is no atmosphere, so these things should work perfect. I could probably get away with using ions here if I had them. Again, it would be nice to have some uranium. Now, that number there, is that at supposed sea level, or is this actually supposed to be actual altitude from terrain? Like, if I go over the craters, it can be technically lower than everywhere, everywhere else. But anyway, so let's descend. I don't have any gear on this, actually. Oh, I still have the gear. We're good. We got the parking brake. Uh, the mad engineer. The mad, the mad engineer has reached the moon. Watch out. Oh, this is going to be fun. Especially with the low gravity. Maybe I can do some interesting things using that. Now, I do have to be careful. Because uh, I don't want to kill myself. Not yet. I certainly don't want to strand myself here either. Where am I? Oh, jeez, I'm still way above the ground. Way above. It'd be nice if they showed you an altimeter somewhere. Like maybe down where the, the gravity readings are. Give you an actual altitude. Alright, a lot bumpier than I expected. Go over here, but perfect. You got ice everywhere. It's probably freezing cold here. Uh, may look at getting pressurization. Ice, jeez, you don't say. And let's, uh, let's get out of the hole. There we go. Are we connected? We are connected. Okay, let's shut those off. And uh, if we can turn that light off, actually. Okay, good, it is hot key to that. Perfect. So we are on the moon. Uh, I know we're going to get some sun. And we're going to get a nice view of the planet, too. And I'm wondering if... Like, I know there's a certain draw range, but I think I can adjust it on my end. I might be able to see if I could build something big enough to see from there. But there we go. 0.25 gravity. Nice. 
Let's do a quick run around quickly. I want to see if there's any ice around here. Hmm. Is there ice? Yes, there is. I know. Being a smartass. This is actually a good area to set up. Alright, so the first thing to do is uh, I do have some plates on me. Yes, I do. Alright, now I'm going to get that back on the hot bar. We're going to get ourselves set up. I want to get the assembler and uh, some solar panels going so I can make some batteries so we can start making stuff. Alright, so let's go ahead with a block. What would be a perfect color for this? Green. Nice patch of green on the moon. Moon's got some other surprises coming too, but like I said, it's just a matter of time for that. Alright. Now that makes me wonder if there's a, like a way you can import textures. Actually, there is, but I'm not making a floor out of LCDs. Alright, so now for solars. Uh, let's extend this way. You know what? Let's actually go up. Uh... Here's a question. Since I'm in a zero G or a low gravity environment, is my suit that my hydrogen in my suit gonna last longer? Damn it. Alright, let's get back down here. And uh yeah, I'll save you the trouble. Let me come back when I got some solar panels set up. Okay, there's the solar panels. And it does occur to me that we're gonna be having limited light. So I will definitely have to try to get some sort of movement going on the solar panels. Actually, I probably don't have to worry about fall damage, do I? No, I don't. <laughs> Good. Saves me a lot of hassle. I probably don't need to use my jetpack to get up here. Alright, let's get an assembly up and placed. Do, 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 do. Yeah, place there, sure. We'll keep everything green, just so it stands out more. Could go red, but... Uh, where is my ship? There you are. Okay. Give me those. And I'm lost. Haha. I gotta put a beacon down here just so I know where I am when I turn my back. Uh, and uh, assembler's almost done. We should be getting some. Yeah, actually, we should be getting some sun pretty soon, so I'll bring you back. And it occurs to me that having them flat like this is a terrible idea. Because I'm really getting the sun on the horizons. And I gotta get them going horizontal. No, the sun is coming up, so I can make this quick. So it's two, three, four. One, two. Let's go up a little higher. Oh, that the animation, uh, the, watching the slow gravity of the blocks drop is really good. Okay. Come on. Come on. There we go. And there we go. And. Oh, wrong spot. Is that the right spot? Oh, oh it is the right spot. That was a good mistake. Yeah. My main goal right now is to get some solar panel or some batteries made. Uh, I do have enough to make the power cells and everything else I have need. Two glass. Oh. It's functional, so it should be okay. Uh, okay, and if I really need to, I guess I could probably get a hydrogen engine going. Prefer not to though. Alright, can I make glass? Not enough power, of course. Do I have any glass anywhere? Actually, technically I do. Don't do this at home, kids. See, just a tap, get a little bit of glass out of it. And go up here. Oh, turn my jetpack on first, that might actually help. And I don't really know if it needs that extra two pieces of glass, but there we go. Now I'm hoping. Hoping that's going to be enough. I know this thing uses a lot of power. Alright, let's find out. Not enough power. What are we generating here? Nothing. Assembly needs a lot more. <sighs> Jeez, that makes some batteries get some free power, but that's besides the whole point. Where, which way is the sun going? I might have to reposition this. Give me a moment. Okay, I did what I had to do. I, uh, 
jump start and off the, the butt uh, the fire here I had to sacrifice everything off this thing. I left a few thrusters on, I took them off and I had to take the drills off. Just fine. I gotta get some production going, but I'm making some solar panels right now. Getting that going, I gotta get some batteries going. So that gets me another three. So uh I'm gonna do that. I think I need girders for those. And power cells. Uh Probably make two batteries, and oh, that should be good. And yeah, so let me get some stuff crafted, and I'll bring it back when I've got something set up, and then we'll look at setting up a fast travel point. No spoilers, but I'll get bring it back on that one. Okay, I am pretty much done this part here. There's two batteries; they should have. Uh, yeah, they do have some charge, so that is okay. Uh, this thing was holding up actually pretty good. Apparently, it was supposed to go about a, a week with it. Uh, sadly, it's not in the same shape it was originally was when I brought it here. I had to sacrifice one of the conveyors for interior plate because I didn't have any power to generate anything before. And that was because I had to make this thing, so I could actually dock to it. No, it wasn't even this. That's not even complete. But anyways, so that is set up. So now the next thing I gotta do is I gotta get some life support situated. So let me uh, let's get back to the bar here. Uh, I am good for power at the moment. I do plan on getting a lot of solar panels up here if this is gonna be the case uh, until I find uranium, anyways. Uh, like I said, I do have the gold on me to make the reactor. Oh, I need more plates. Oh, I gotta make more plates. Uh, manufacturing on the moon. All right. New step for me. Oh, that almost hurt. That's fine. I wanted that to go there. Uh, do we need a hydrogen tank? Probably shouldn't make one. It's going to be expensive, but I'm going to need it. Not only do I need fuel for this thing, but I'm going to need uh, oxygen. And if I make it oxygen, I'm also make fuel or hydrogen. So I'm going to make a a whole stack of those, a whole stack of those, and let's get some tanks down. We're gonna need some storage too, of course, but right now life support's more important and uh, uh, fast travel. Yes, I'm gonna quote that many times. All right, so I need more plates and tubes, so that's gonna go down. And then what I'm gonna do on this is, Energy low. yes, I'll deal with that in a second. That's actually what I'm working on. Uh, I'm gonna get. Well, we're gonna put an oxygen tank on here too. Uh, oxygen tank and cryo chamber. My cryo chamber is gonna go right there on the port. Uh, yeah, and then the oxygen tank will go on the top, which is number four. Uh, steel plates, of course. And then I'm gonna attach a connection off the end, probably four blocks or something, just so this thing can fuel up. I may end up taking that second tank off there, just why not, could probably use resources for other stuff like this and that and everything else. So let me bring that back, i right, get this done and I'll, I'll bring you back. Alright, there's the makeshift hydrogen oxygen storage facility slash sleeping chamber. And now I get an H2O2 generator on here. Uh, I may put a storage on here, I have no idea, uh, it's not like ice is a short supply around here and yeah let's just stick it right there I need some more plates and everything so let me get that done and there's the H2O2 generator now we just need some storage and I think I'm just gonna actually put it right underneath the, the crowd chamber you know just for support metal grids where I put those in there and finish that up. We got some storage, so I can go and clear my inventory out. Uh, I couldn't put the gold in there because I switched over to the basic because I thought it used less power, but apparently this is about the same. And I'll put that in there for now, and now to go drill for some drill for some ice. Now, where was that ice again? Hmm. The marker says there, but I don't see it anywhere. I don't know. Being a smartass, it's good though. Wow, I've never rebounded like that before. Not careful if you run into a wall, you can launch yourself into space. Ah, there we go. At least the sound's muffled. 
Now, oh, here is my thinking on having this H202 uh, the, the cryo chamber here. It's not about not about filling up or getting warm or charging your suit or anything like that. It's fast travel. Uh, if you have a store, if I have storage here, and as long as everything's powered, uh, I should be able to respawn, and it'll let me choose whichever one I want. Now I do will have to label them. Uh, yes, I did this in the other game once in a while. It's kind of inconvenient because you can't take your inventories with you, but as long as you have stuff to work with, that is fine. Now, unfortunately, I never did this at the the original station, at the other station there. So then that means when I respawn, the only place I can respawn is on Earth, or Earth-like. Let's name that planet. Okay, here's here's what I'm gonna do. We'll have a little contest here if anybody can actually guess what I'm gonna be doing here, and I'm not doing it in the next episode or anything. Like that's gonna be a couple more episodes. What's going on there? Probably still getting a little bit of juice. Uh, eventually, I'm gonna start working on this. If anybody can guess what my plan is for the moon, I'll let them name name our planet. But with that being said, this is producing an alarming rate. Let's actually see where we're at. It's actually really good considering the bottle's only 120 liters. And the hydrogen tank has enough. So that's good. Alright, so I'm going to go grab those loose ones there. Where did I? I was over here. Oh, jeez. Almost as bad as Minmus. Actually, Gilly's pretty bad, too. And, I mean, Kerbal, by the way. Uh, Gilly, oh god, you sneeze and you'll end up in orbit. If you're not careful, it'll be too high of an orbit, you'll be escape trajectory. What is that? That looks kind of different. Probably just my imagination, different colors of ice. Good to know, good to know. I've uh, got to remember to beacon this place, too. Uh, lights are going to be handy in this game, because as far as I know, these interior lights do not use any power. As far as I know, that spotlight doesn't use any power. So we might have to exploit that. Alright, so I got a little bit more ice. We'll just dump this in here off top of my bottles. Do that. Actually, the bottles. Well, that's okay, because I'm not going to be here for too much longer. I am going to name this Moon Chamber. Okay, so that's named. Now, in theory, if I respawn, I should end up back at Earth. Okay, that didn't actually work. It's not the crowd chamber I need, it's the survival kit I need. And it does need to be powered. I'm gonna sneak it right in here. Uh, should be in here somewhere. I gotta. I think I gotta. There it is. No, I don't know what I need for it. Steel plates, apparently. Okay, well, let's get this built and try it again. Yeah, because when I respawned, it just brought me right back to the main base there and it didn't give me the option for this. And I think it's supposed to give me the option. We will find out very soon. Uh, thank God for backup saves. That's all I gotta say. Medical components. Oh, jeez. Now I gotta build the other big one, don't I? Oh, and I needed silver for that. I believe so. Let's uh, get the big assembler back up. If I even have enough for it. Uh, uh, let me do this off camera and I'll be right back. So it's been a slight snag with the medical components. They actually need silver. I need six silver. I can scrap my tools, but I'll get 0.6 silver out of them, which is useless. So that means I gotta go ahead, head back up there and get some silver and do that. But this, that survival kit will make it a, a spawn point. So yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to go up there and get some silver. So I shall be right back. Well, needless to say, the hunt for sil silver around the moon did not go too well. I was finding a lot of cobalt, a lot of platinum, uh, nickel, iron, the whole shebang, but I was not finding s silver or even uranium. So I decided to come back here, to, or respawn back here, and I made another ship. I'm going to be taking the Atmos off this once I get, get up there, 
Uh, this is going to be a space only ship, but I did some mining and as you can see I have a little over a thousand silver. So that's going to be that's going to be good. So at least I'll be able to get a couple of these survival kits set up. I'm going to get one set up here because I actually forgot to do that. Uh, someone had mentioned too about leaving the beacon on and I think I'm going to do that because I don't really need a beacon on there. I just need to have a, a GPS. I like to put beacons on my ship so I don't lose them. Uh, this one, for instance, I actually put an antenna on it. So as long as this has power, I should be able to see it, I think, within like 500 kilometers. So, uh, And that's only so I don't lose my ships because <laughs> I haven't built anything big yet. And the small ones, you can lose them pretty easy. But anyways, I still have quite a flight left ahead of me to get back to the station and then quite the flight to get back to the moon. So I'll meet you at the station and I'll meet you at the moon. So I will be right back. Okay, here we are. So yeah, I am going to turn the beacon off. I am going to use a GPS marker for this, so that's okay. Uh, I am going to go ahead and fill up while I'm here because I do have hydrogen in here and I don't want to waste it because I do want to eventually take this tank out uh, I got so many big projects on the go it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of a lot of fun stuff going on a lot of great stuff oh kaboom haha <laughs> okay so I'm gonna turn those off get this charging not stockpiling while we do that we're gonna go down here enjoy some gravity on our nice little piece of rock here I do have to get some more plates crafting I think Oh yeah, I still had a whole bunch going. Alright, so I'm going to drop off. Nothing, because I have silver here already. Good. So anyways, uh, I want to make... One, two, three. Whatever. Four. Uh, remind me to... Well, i got to remind myself to buy another mouse. Okay, so we do that. We take these out. Okay, now what do we need for the survival kit? Okay, where is it? Uh, Let's do it that way. It's weird, I can't find it in the prog progression menu for some reason. Uh, where should we put this? We're going to be spying in here, so we'll just put it right here. Steel plates. Okay, so... Uh, I'm clearly going to have to make a few things. It's not like it, I don't have the... F not like I don't have parts for it. Okay, uh, let's be quick. So, do this. And... It's going to be the same old thing with this, I can't remember if I need those, but I'll make them anyways, and those, and I think I need those, I don't know. This assembler actually works pretty good. It should, it's got enough power. Motors. That's what I forgot. Alright. Oh no, I did not want to do... No. Oh. Yeah, maybe that's half my problem, but my keyboard is getting sticky keys. It's old just like me okay so this is a survival kit now I want to see if I can actually name this okay uh, moon teleporter yes that is my whole theory on this okay so go in here moon teleporter so hopefully when I go to respawn this should show up as moon teleporter and just one of the spawn locations Alright, so I do have silver, uh, I guess I could take this stuff with me, could always use a couple extra supplies over there. Alright, so, uh, next stop, the moon, which is, how far is it, oh god, yeah, I got so many markers, um, I gotta switch them all on. I'm leaving them on for now until I actually find the silver, or not the silver, uh, the uranium. Yeah, it's not gonna be over there, it's gonna be down here somewhere. I'm actually curious to see how far away it is, 212 kilometers away. Yeah, but there's tons of platinum and cobalt out there. Uh, I'm hoping somewhere around that area maybe we'll find uranium. But anyways, I shall see you back at the moon. You know, I actually have to take the atmosphere thrusters off while we were at the, the Earth station. Uh, I did, however, put two ore detectors on this time. I put, put them on the outside. So hopefully I can get a little close to the rock, scan a little bit deeper. Uh, I'm thinking... Pretty soon I'm going to have to start building a big ship, and that's what I was planning on doing with the jump drive, 
because I know it's a large grid block, but uh, yeah, we're going to have to get into that pretty soon. I've already thought about having like uh, or detector on like a little proby stick so I don't have to fly up the rock. I could just get the ore detector up there and not have to worry about damaging my ship. Anyway, I'll be, I'll be back in probably about 45 minutes for me and about two seconds for you. Count them. One, two. See, I, didn't I told you that wouldn't take too long. It only took two seconds. Actually, it took me about an hour, hour and a half, I think. That was about an hour. Uh, I was dipping down in the atmosphere a few times and stopped at a couple of asteroids. I didn't find nothing. Still not finding no uranium, but I do have some ideas of what I'm going to do about the power situation when the time comes. Is it actually heating up my ship? Or is that just the glow from the thrusters? I wonder if I got those things too close. Is heating the thing? I have no idea. But, uh, yeah, so we are here. I do have some silver on me. I think I have some hydrogen. I got some ice being produced before I left. Uh, probably could have done with the, without the excess thrusters, but I wanted this thing to be able to pick up speed pretty quick. You know, if I stop somewhere for a minute, I want to get on the road quick as I can, especially when you're traveling 200 kilometers. Okay, good enough. I'll have to end up repairing those eventually. All right, recharge, stockpile. Actually, let's turn off. Oh, I don't know why I turned back on. Oh, interesting. I'm controlling the other ship. <laughs> okay, interesting. Let me uh, go to here. Let me see. Oh, because they're all the same on the group. Oh. Okay, I can figure this out. Uh, yeah, I'm going to select all these ones. If I control but he would stop sticking on me. Because this will be the other ship. I'm going to shut those off. Uh, well, there's more than I thought there was. I'm going to end up decommissioning that thing, I think, since I have this one here. Oh, a few more. And off. I missed one. There we go. Okay. I'll have to remember that. Alright, now I can get out. And go down here. Uh, make sure this is off because I don't want to be burning hydrogen. I don't think they actually use it, but to me it's a pilot light. And as far as I'm concerned, pilot lights use fuel. Okay, so now let's uh, dump the silver off. Oh, that's not the silver. There we go. One, two, because I already have two on me. Alright, now. Go ahead and finish this up. And yes, I do realize I named the one over at uh, uh, the other station there. I named it Moon Teleporter. I'm just going to name this one Moon Base. No, no, this is actually the Moon Base. Okay. Guys, you can't have them all named the Survival Kit. Uh, I, do, I do believe I may, oops, I may end up relocating. Um... You know, on the moon somewhere. I'm thinking, let's see, some planets over there. I think it was going to be further down this way, just to get a better, maybe better sun. Uh, power is going to be an issue until we get the uranium eventually. Uh, right now, it's not the end of the world. I can, I can make do without. I can take care of our power situation. We'll do that in the next episode, I do believe. I'm going to get, start getting stuff produced for that pretty quick, but before we do that, there's one thing I gotta do. Just make sure my quick teleportation scheme works. I'm gonna dump everything off. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about those because I still got good tools in here. Okay, so now to do a save and a respawn and we'll see if it works. Well, that does not seem to work. I tried three times in a row and I keep ending up back here automatically. There's my other body over there. Free tools, at least. Anyway, well, I was going to say at least I'm not alone, but he vanished, and he'll vanish. But anyways, that was uh, a failed attempt. It was, <laughs> I was hoping it was going to work, but it didn't. Oh, uh, well, shit happens, right? 
Anyways, uh, I call this episode here. Uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.